Say, do you remember when the most exciting way to spend a Saturday afternoon was a double feature at the downtown movie theater? Well, Rob Wiles does, and that's why he was excited about a theater in Maryville where that magic aura of escape is back with a modern twist. When you walk down Broadway in the East Tennessee town of Maryville, one thing that catches your eye is a sparkling jewel of a place, the Capitol Theater, which is not the way it looked when artist Heath Claiborne was taking an innocent stroll a few years ago. This building was boarded up, and there was a, a piece of plywood with a hand-painted number on it. And I called the number. I don't know why, I just I wanted to see inside. Heath didn't know it then, but he was hooked. It took many winding turns, but eventually he found himself the owner of the old Capitol Theater, which, face it, was a dump when he got it, which might be expected of a place with such a long history. This building was built in 1923, and it was actually originally a, a furniture building. And in 1934, it was bought out by a company called Crescent Amusement, and they actually owned a chain of 17 theaters throughout the South. This was the first one. The, the movie theater ran from 1934 all the way until the 70s before it was closed. Are you ready for some coffee? Yes. Now the Capitol is looking good. He thought about using it as a gallery and studio for his work, but decided the place needed more. Like, for instance, a coffee shop where you can get a cup of the finest. There you go, Mr. Eddie. Thank you very much. The place looks just about as good as the sweets they serve here. But it took work to get this way. Heath remodeled the place from the floors to the ceiling. This floor, for example, had two layers of carpet, two layers of plywood, and a layer of luon. We had to rip all that up to get back to this was the original floor. You know, actually, the renovation went beyond the ceiling. Oh, yeah up to where the theater balcony used to be. People can have their party and bring any movie they want, any kind of DVD and watch it or play video games. So we set up like a celebrity home theater up in what was used to be the balcony. There used to be about another 400 seats back at the time when the theater was open. So we closed the balcony up with a, a wall and, a, and windows where you can see down into the main theater. But it's sort of a bird's nest where you can for a smaller event. Well, you can be a guitar hero or any other kind of hero you want to be up here in the balcony, but when you're ready for superstardom, the curtain goes up on the main stage and the big show. We took out all the original seats and built in tiers so that we could have a dinner theater setting or we can make performance setting so that you can show a movie on a retractable screen or you can pull the screen up and do stage or a wedding or any kind of event. Any kind of event from concerts and dances to plays to that particularly theatrical event, a wedding. Heath can do just about anything, including projecting Hollywood stars into the party mix. The technology is all new, but the spirit is classic Capitol Theater. The memories are the energy of this place. That was really important when we came in. I didn't want to take away from the original integrity of the building architecturally and for all the memories that came here. I, mean, I wanted it to look like it did when they were kids. You know, the, the only major difference is what you expect, and that is when you're younger, things look so much grander and larger. People say it seems a little smaller, but, but actually we've added so much more technology and glamour to it now that it was really simpler in its day. We still kept a sort of a simple Art Deco feel about it, but we've added so much more technology today, things that you couldn't do then. So whether it's a huge party in the old theater, or playing games with friends in the old balcony, or enjoying the works by Heath Claiborne and other artists on the walls, or having a cup of coffee with friends. 
It's sort of like the feeling many of us used to get on those long-ago Saturdays when a movie matinee was as good as it got. We've taken all those possibilities, all the little scary places and all the fun places and come up with ways to be able to come back in here again and have fun and, and escape that, that busy world of reality out there.